Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Total War Free Kingdoms of Liu Bei on Legendary Difficulty. Where last time we left off, we had taken Peng Cheng from the Wang Lang. Um, and now we are bordering uh, Cao Cao down to the southwest. Uh, we got a couple more other Han territories to the south as well. And we're bordering this new faction. Well, not a new faction, this faction that we are now bordering, which is new to us, the Zhang Chao um, in Guangling. <laughs> Names are great. Um, we acquired this stuff last time. I think I had already actually gotten rid of those messages. I'd already seen them. Um, we have a bunch of buildings to build right. So we were going to go for the um, food buildings here because we we're going to get the farmlands at some point. I, I promise you. I promise, I promise, Mr. Frodo. Um, however, before we build anything, we are because uh, I want to get the land development and I want to get the green, uh, sorry, the government support to increase our food percentage as well. Um, this takes two turns to build, however, but I noticed just now that the um, Sentinel Zhangyong is available for. Uh, Administrating or assigning as uh, again, so I'm gonna actually get. A, I'm gonna put him into this town now and supervise construction again. So he'll get there next turn, which means that this still takes two turns right now. That only takes one turn though. So if we build this, we are gonna be out of food next turn. We're gonna lose four food next turn, where we're gonna gain. Oh, sorry. So yeah, we're gonna. Well, we're gonna gain one the turn after. So we're gonna we're gonna be out of food for a single turn, which is I think okay. So I'll, I'll build this building. I'll put it here. For no reason other than why not. Um, so yeah, we'll build that building, and the next turn we build the land development, and then the turn after we'll be we'll have food. Because if I if I build this right now, it'll still take an extra. It, it'll still take two turns, you know. Like where whereas if I do it next turn, it'll be one turn, and it'll be cheaper because of that assignment I just did. So I might as well build a one turn building right now. Um, we've also got some stuff to build in Dong and in Taishan. I can upgrade the town here. It does cost more food, which I don't really have. But again, we're going to take the farmland at some point. So perhaps that's still okay. Here, a little bit of extra wealth from commerce or income from commerce. I also want to get this upgraded to that because this is the conversion. We don't want that. So we just want to upgrade it. But that's not... I mean, it's all right, but it's three and a half grand. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go for the upgrade in Taishan. And then I guess, yeah, we can just do this because we got the money for it. So why not? Um, so we got a reform, right? So let's have a look here. What do we want to choose now? Um, so yeah, what have we got available, really? We've got the extra trade influence, trade routes. We've got some income here, or building upkeep. Income from commerce, construction costs from mines. Income from peasantry, administrative position, which is okay, but not too worried about that. Seasonal retinue deployments and the redeployment cost. Yeah. Ooh, one available army. That's pretty insane right now because we don't, we obviously can only have one army, so being able to recruit a second one is pretty big. Um, that is tempting. I'm not gonna lie. That is quite tempting. Uh, we got recruitment cost for melee infantry, satisfaction for vanguard. Satisfaction is good for us because it gives us more unity. Uh, construction cost military infrastructure, I don't really care about that. And this is like peasant warband or something. Peasant band, sure. So I think for me it's either between the trade agreement and the extra army. I think the trade is definitely fun. Being able to get another trade line, perhaps with the southern neighbors we have. Uh, not you, this guy. Alright, he's got one out of one trade already, so that wouldn't help, or that wouldn't work. Um, Yang Yang Chao Yang Chao, you've got two already out of two, so I can't trade with you. Is there anyone I could trade with Dong Min? I guess I could, but I, that would mean no. I, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Plus, I would have to get peace with them, which means I can't take any more Han Empire towns. I'm already trading with you. Uh, I'm not trading with you, so I guess I could possibly get trade with him. That might be worth it. Uh, one thing we also haven't really looked at yet is um. Uh, grouping so we can possibly join this coalition I actually wonder if I could I'm gonna find out what if I request to join no that's a bunch of no's right there even Liu Dai what the hell man why would you why would you say no to that 
major threat to us opinion on this idea alliance size oh the fact that the alliance is so big already i guess a major threat to us really i'm not really a major threat though i'm, I'm mates with you could i actually get any kind of alliance with kong rong no there's nothing i can do there because i'm a little bit worried honestly because they're all in an alliance or in a uh, coalition together and i'm already at war with south oh god that's never gonna happen i'm already at war with south i'm actually a little worried that um they're gonna like all declare war on me basically which i i don't like he's gonna ask them to join in basically i, I have i've got like non-aggression packs of all of them i believe but um, wait, let me just click on myself. So yeah, I've got a non-aggression pack with you. But it's your access and a non-aggression pack with you and non-aggression pack with you. But I don't know. I'm a little worried about that. I was kind of hoping that I was perhaps going to be able to join that. Because the fact that South South says no is... Sure, you know, that makes sense. But why the hell do the other people all hate me so much? Well, it's all like... The, the, the fact that they... Um, They're scared of me, essentially. The fact that I'm a major threat to them. It's like, it's like minus 12.6. It's not even close, you know. Military strength and strategic situation is positive and wider diplomatic, diplomatic impact. But uh, it looks like he's the only one who cares about that stuff. And actually, uh, Tsao cares quite a bit about that stuff as well. But obviously, the major threat to, to him is a little bit bigger for him as well. If that was only as bad as these ones were, then he would have actually been the first one to say yes. <laughs> Uh, alright, well, you know what? Fuck you guys then. I'll take you all on, no problem, if you guys just do decide to declare war on me. Let's hope you don't, though, because that's not, I don't know, that's not nice. Um, okay, so yeah, I could get trade going with Liu Dai, perhaps, so I think we're gonna, we're gonna hold off on the army. We're also gonna be going to second Marquis very soon. Uh, so I think, I think that's gonna be okay. So let's take the extra trade agreement um yeah because we're going to be second marquee soon and then we'll have an extra army a lot uh, like available anyway Why you? and then Same i'll take team. trade with you Actually, just just quick deal boom yes negotiate negotiate Why you? all right so we are going to be out of food next turn so i could take one food from him but i think i'm not that worried about it so i'm just going to take the money instead um i could do regular payments how much would you pay me regularly uh 116 yeah 116 so that'd be 1160 how much would you pay me straight up not as much obviously yeah nowhere near in fact 396 that's uh a little over a third of what i could get over time the problem is that I don't trust these bastards, man. I've played a couple campaigns now, and th this kind of situation never ends well. Even though you're, you're friends with everyone, it's just they don't, you know, they don't play by their rules. So I'm a little bit worried. What if I give you military access in there as well? Okay, I can get even more out of him, and he would like me even more as well. See, that's what I could possibly do. Maybe with Kong Rong too, if I haven't done that yet, which I think I have. But um, so uh, I just up this actually, yeah. Yeah, we can get quite a bit of money out of him. 470 or uh, the regular... I think I'm just going to go for the regular payment and just kind of hope they don't all betray me. I mean, that's, you know... Have a little bit of faith in people, right? So it was 1160. Now it's... Well, 127? Nope, 126. Now it's 1260. So I get an extra 100 bucks out of that. So this one is actually worth exactly one. Cool. Um... Yeah, I'll do that. Make this, uh, make our friendship even better. And then, Kong Rong, I think I've already got that with you, don't I? Uh, we've got, yeah, military access. One Shao, though, I don't think I do. I think he maybe even offered it to me last time, didn't he? Yeah, he wants it. Yeah, he wants it a little bit, bastard. Because he wants to go take out Tao Chan, but I'm going to be... Yeah, that's it's going to be okay. At this point, I'm sure you will have already guessed what's going to happen. I know it from a previous campaign that I played, but... So I'm going to take a bunch of money from you per turn as well. That's uh, pretty solid. 254 I saw there. What about 55? Yes. Oop. 
I'm about 56. Oh my god, what about 57? What about 58? Holy shit, what about 60? Oh my goodness, I'm actually getting quite a bit more money out of this now. Because the jumps are so big. He doesn't care, like apparently he's so rich that he doesn't give a shit about this. Oh my goodness, what if I just go to 70? I think that's, yeah, that's too high. 68? Okay, 69, come on. Oh man, 69, you won't even do it? That's like the number though. Alright, so we get a lot of money out of that as well. If these people betray me though, this is the downside of the 10 turn money. If they betray me, I just get fucked, you know? I just lose all that, that income over time all of a sudden. Alright, well, at least we're making fucking bank for the for the moment, so that's nice. Uh, I think that's all I can do for now. So let's get together and feel alright. Um, I think, yeah, if I... Hold on, sorry. Wait, what the fuck? That was, that was a plus there for a second. There you go. Yeah, it's only her I can put in there now. I don't want that. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, and turn. He wants to buy my trader. Pay me 1114 bucks for it, that's not bad. How much money could he get per turn though? <laughs> um, surplus markets and trade influence. The trade influence is quite nice, but I'm not too bothered about it. I'm, I'm willing to let that go. Uh, 1114. Let's see how much I'd get if I did regular payments. Probably not as much. Oh no, yeah, definitely still a lot more. Wait, so hold on, let me just go down like this way. There you go, 245. Okay. Um, yeah, it's gonna add on to that. It's actually a different deal. It's not gonna add on to that one, it's just gonna be a different deal. Because, of course, this could be like five turns remaining and then otherwise it'd be a bit weird. Um, yeah, I'm willing to let that go. He's got a lot of money, man. He's just willing to give me all this cash, so I'm not going to say no to that. He, I just went to war with him. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I saw it happen. Oh, and he's taken Pang Cheng as well. You want Shadows of War on me? Okay. Oh, God. So here's what happened. There's a lot of things that just happened, in fact. Okay, so... And I've been kind of, as I've been kind of alluding to, uh, eventually you confederate with um, Tao Chang. You, it's like, yeah, it's it's a confederation kind of deal uh, that happens through a mission. So we now own his land. We did lose the temple because uh, Tao Tsao apparently just took it, um, which means you should have an army still there as well, which means I can kill it off immediately, which is nice. So that that's what happened. Now, that also upgraded me to second marquee, which is why I'm allowed to have a second army. Because normally when that happens, and you aren't second marquee yet, you're only allowed to have a single army. This doesn't happen. You don't have to replace someone, because... Fuck me, that guy's got zero... That's not a very happy man, is it? Um, so, you, yeah, you don't have to replace anyone, because he just died. The reason we took all this land is because he died, essentially. On his deathbed, he said, Leo Bay, please take my lands. We'll, we'll see that in a moment. Um... But, um, so that's, that's what allows me to have my second army, which is why I have this army now, which I will be getting rid of, by the way. Also, my income plummeted because I lost all that income per turn, which really sucks a lot. Okay, let me just get you into the army, because I, um, don't want the other guy, because he's going to go leave him with my army. So Tsa Tsa has signed the peace treaty of Tao Chan, which doesn't matter, because he's dead, and his faction is gone. We own his towns now. Uh, Tsa Tsa requested Huan Xiao to join their war, so I'm at war with Huan Xiao now. Uh, he declared war on Dong Min. That's not really relevant. So there you go. Tao Chan's estate. The venerable Tao Chan lies on his deathbed. With no heirs to succeed him, he requests that you, a most honorable man in his estimation, assume his mantle. Despite your humble protestations, you know that it would be a most dishonorable to deny, deny his final wish. As such, you inherit his lands and titles. Um, so basically, what that means is that, uh, yeah, we confederate with him essentially in... in um, in actuality, uh, in the story, I think Liu Bei kind of denied, or like uh, he said no, basically about a bazillion times. And eventually, when he was on his deathbed, he said, "Okay, fine, I'll take your lands." And then at his earliest opportunity, your earliest convenience, he gave the lands to Lu Bu. But uh, anyway, not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen today. Uh, we own Donghai, which finished our mission. We got uh, population growth, public order, and income from peasantry. 
We got a new challenge to confederate with Liu Biao. That's going to be the next mission on the uh, path. We need to reach the faction rank of Duke because we reached the second uh, second marquee rank. Road is still long, but the people have placed their trust in you. Continue on this path, fight for them, defend them, and you'll surely be surely led to victory. Um, yeah, so there you go. We reached second marquee, so we got six unity and four food production. So we actually still have positive food, which is nice. Uh, we confederated. Dynasty. It was never my aim or intention to rise through the ranks, but I humbly accept this position, as it may help me to better soothe the suffering of the people. And killed in the line of duty, Tao Chan died as, as died uh, carrying out his duty. Okay, this is interesting, actually, because what that means... Oh, yeah. I mourn for the loss of a skilled warrior and a noble, a loyal comrade to our cause. We must continue to fight in their name. What this means, if I actually check the statistics, it should be in here somewhere. Uh, oh, yeah, here. Characters died in service. So we have one character died in service, which didn't actually happen in our service, but it, because of the event, it did, basically. So that's fucked up my, my stats. Okay, let me get rid of most of these things here. So, we are now at war with Huan Xiao. We got Philanthropic, or Philanthropic, which gives us plus two faction-wide public order, which is not bad. Uh, we lost our trade with Tao, Kua, Tao Chan, sorry. Um, appointments, general appointment, appointed even. Um, what? What are you trying to say to me right now? I don't know. I guess I pointed her in this army, but I'm going to take her out of that army again as well. Okay, so we got a lot of shit to look at now. Um, first of all, yeah, we're at war with him now, so that's going to be a major thing. Now we have, okay, so we got the administrator for open, we got chancellor open. Uh, we got a bunch of new people who came from the other faction, essentially, but it appears that they are incredibly unhappy. Uh, you are, well, you're on 0, you're on 9, and you're on 16. So, from minus fa 50 faction grudge, I guess because I took over their land, but it wasn't really my intention, was it? So, Tao Jing, who uh, appears to be a pretty highly leveled up general, uh, who's quite solid. He's got military, or Binding Fury as well, which is that solid attack. Uh, he seems pretty good. I could upgrade him to a higher rank and try and keep him happy, but I think there's no, there's no point in, in trying to do that. So why don't we just fire this man? Fire! So that's you. See you later, friend. Shouldn't have been so damn pissed off. I'm probably going to have to let the other one go as well. Uh, Yu Jinping is quite happy being... Uh, she doesn't have that faction thing happening, so she's alright. She doesn't like Liu Bei. But that's fair enough. She likes Tao Shang, but Tao Shang is uh, one of the unhappy people. I could keep him. I don't know if Faction Grudge goes away over time or not, but I'm probably not going to keep him around. Also, we have already got Zhang Yong, and we got Yu Jingping as well for two people who are already a Sentinel, so we don't really need a third Sentinel. So you, in fact, can also take your leave, my friend. Um, which is also increasing my income. It's increasing my income double. So the reason I'm getting rid of people, first of all, I should probably explain, is the fact that they cost, uh, they have a certain, like, upkeep cost to them. This, in this case, she's actually controlling some units as well. Otherwise, it's like, um, like her. It's like 100 bucks or 200 bucks, depends on who they are. Um, but yeah, he's still leading an army of two units, so this is already included as well. But normally, he costs, uh, 175, and then his units are 220. So that's one of the reasons why I'm getting rid of the, the people, like the characters, because I don't I don't want to afford, I don't want to pay for that right now. I don't have that kind of money laying around, you know. Um, so we're going to, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're just getting rid of some people. And he's really unhappy as well, only at nine right now, so I don't really want him either. He doesn't have any special, particular gear. I'm not going to take people's gear either when I fire them. Like if they have some super rare item, maybe, but if they've just got like an upgraded weapon or something that they came with, I'm probably just going to leave it to them. If I give him something though, and then decide to fire them afterwards, I'll probably take it back. So I'm going to release him from service too. And then we're leaving, we've, we're left with one extra character, which is uh, Zhu Jingping. And she's quite good, so I'm, I'm willing to leave her. That said, I will actually... Um, I'll get rid of these units as well. Because when I rehire her, which I will do soon... I'll just rehire her with a bunch of units. So I'm going to recall her units. 
and then I'll recruit her in Dong because we'll need to protect against uh, Yuan Xiao soon. So we'll do that. Can I actually currently recruit anyone? Um, yeah, they're on assignment, so I can't recruit anyone from my own faction, but I'd probably want to recruit Kuao Liang anyway because he's a strategist, and I want to get a strategist on my army. Um, and then hope that Liu, Humin, and Zhang Yong uh, like each other, basically. That said, they're both on assignment, and he's not going to get taken out. I could take her assignment because she's doing something mostly pointless, uh, which is increasing peasantry, which doesn't really do much right now. Uh, like 50% income from peasantry in a place where we have like 50 peasantry income. So it's like, oh, an extra 25. Whoop to do. Uh, it's not really a big deal. So I'm going to call her back so I can put her in an army next turn if I want to. Um, and then we'll have, yeah, we'll have Yu Jinping in there as well. And then that strategist, I guess. And then that hopefully, unless they don't like each other, should work out. I guess I could look at if I were to swap uh, Liu Bei. Um, she doesn't like Liu Bei. I thought she liked Liu Bei. That's my wife. That's my wife. He likes Guan Yu and Liu Bei. And you don't like Liu Bei. What the fuck? I could have sworn it just that she liked Liu Bei. Am I going blind? Am I going mad right now? I have no idea. Either way. Um, right, what else we got? So we got, yeah, we got the Chancellor and Administrator. Right, so Administrator, what that does is basically, yeah, you just administrate an, uh, a town. So I can look at, uh, currently you can you can see, well, I, uh, these are all like doing something, so I can't use them right now, but we can at least suit with them. So the position effects are always the same, plus one available armies. Oh, shit, that's pretty good, actually. I didn't know about that. Um, income from all sources and corruption, and then no desire for higher office. And then the Administrator effects from Zhang Fei are unique to him, so... With Zhang Fei, it's 11% construction cost reduction and 5k population growth. With um, Guan Yu, it's 20% income from peasantry, 8k po population growth, and 17% construction cost. So he's a lot better as an administrator. He gets 18 of satisfaction from it as well, and his salary goes up by 100, so that's not too bad. So I'm actually going to make him an administrator, but I want to see where first. So he gets an extra bit of income from peasantry, which we don't have a lot of right now. 46 right here, 47 right here. Uh, 50 in Peng Chang because we have a farmland here, I guess. No, it's because of these buildings because that gives us... No, it doesn't actually. That gives us peasantry income. Right, it's, it's peasantry from the population, right. But if we get the land development, that actually gives me peasantry income. So it's, it's probably best in Peng Chang. Um, yeah, it's 43 there. 63 here, but we're not going to get any more peasantry income there. So yeah, we'll do it in, in here. So we'll um, appoint Guan Yu as administrator here. Right, so that does that here. Um, so that means we can have an extra army as well, which is nice. We can have three armies now, essentially. Chancellor it gives us a uh, faction-wide income from peasantry, 15% increase, and a bunch of other things which aren't too important. Uh, costs a lot more money to put someone in, though. And right now, 15% income from the shitty peasantry income that we have right now is not going to be worth the 250 uh, increase in salary for these guys. So I'm not going to bother getting a Chancellor right now, because I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I will be building the land development to get my food up a little bit more. I don't know how many other buildings I can't... I can't build anything else, so that's... Oh, no, I can build something here. Right, so this problem... I haven't looked at this one yet. So we've got... Um, County school, which is like the yeah, it's a school building, which I don't really care too much about, so I'm actually gonna get rid of this one right away. Uh, we have a fishing port here, it's gonna be our extra town. Um, right, uh, so that's gonna be food basically. So we want to possibly make this a food province as well, um, which it's currently not at all, which is okay. Um, we got, this is level 5 town, by the way. That's pretty, pretty nuts. We haven't got anything near that right now. Okay, so... Uh, it's kind of interesting. You get money back for demolishing. We can actually instantly do it. <laughs> which costs money, but you still get some money back from it anyway. Um, do we want to make this into a food province right away, or just kind of leave the money buildings for the moment? Because right now, we've got the like income from commerce kind of building set up. Is this the mill post and then the merchant registry office? Which is what we're doing in this town as well, I believe. Uh, yeah. Because you get the income from commerce and then increase that income from commerce by a certain percentage as well. And that income, that percentage is pretty big. We've also got this building, the private workshops, which I think I'd rather see 
I mean, that's a lot of income from commerce as well. So if you go for full-on commerce, this is the building to go for. I think for the moment, though, I think we are going to get rid of these at some point and build something else, make this into a farm province instead, uh, once we get the fishing port as well. So I think I'm going to demolish that for now and just make the two basic farm buildings that I'm also building here. Um, I can still upgrade this, though, but I, yeah, if I'm going to do that, I probably don't want to bother spending that money right now. Plus, we'll need to recruit an army, so let's not do that. Right, so we lost our trade. That's another thing we need to look at. We lost trade with um, the people that you know, the guy that just died, Tao Shan. We can't do any other. Um, any other trade or anything? Just kind of looking at what else we can do. You want Shao? We could peace out with, but it probably cost me like an arm and a leg. Cost me a province, Dong, whole bunch of money and an extra bit of yeah, like a whole bunch of money per turn and then money as well. So that's not going to happen. I'm not going to give you any damn towns. Um, it's more like the, the question, are, are we going to get attacked by like the other two people in the confederation as well now? That's what I'm a little bit worried about. I think we're going to take Pangchang Temple. There could be an army in there. I don't know how large it would be, but it says it's in my favor. Also, can I just... Wait, is that the actual thing? Can I see there's no one there? Because that wouldn't make any sense, because they just took it. So how would he have taken it if there's no units there? Unless he took it and then disbanded his army, which doesn't make any sense, so I don't know exactly what's going on there, but I'm definitely going to take it. Yeah, there's no one there. Okay, well, that's weird. I'll uh, delegate that one. The garrison is almost dead, so yeah, he did just take it. I saw it change over, in fact, so I don't know what the hell happened there. 77 men lost, that's not too bad. I'll occupy that. Alright, so this is actually a pretty unique building. This is the Grand Temple City of Confucius. Which gives us plus five prestige, which is normal. Like every building does that. Uh, every um, like unique uh, resource building does it. Uh, but it gives plus ten faction wide satisfaction, which maybe I should have actually kept those other generals around because I've got plus ten now. But oh well. Uh, and economic building, construction, cost reduction, which is whatever. I'm not going to build many of those. But yeah, there's no army here, so I don't know what happened with that. That's a bit weird. We got an ancillary from it. The military great axe. Good for a champion, but obviously not for you because you got your own unique weapon. Uh, and we secured the commandery. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I think the only other thing we really have to do is build an army in Dong. So I guess we just kind of have to hope that the people like each other. Uh, do I even have anyone available? Yeah, yeah, we checked this. Right, so well, it's got to be this guy, Kwai, Kwai Zhang. Um, just to, have to start building an army. And then it's going to be Liu Humin and Xu Jinping. And hopefully they like each other. I don't currently know. I can... I can I can't necessarily check. I kind of wish you could. Um, what I can do is I can, you know, just look at their traits and see if they would work with each other. Uh, so she's got feared, inter intrepid, and beautiful. So it's uh, in supports intimidation, admires power, commands honor, bravery, and attractiveness. Um, she respects patience, commands trustworthiness. Uh, I don't think there's values kindness and I don't think there's any like key things that that uh, they both have there uh, and then the new guy I can't check because I haven't recruited him yet so I'm gonna do that right now so raise an army Kwai Lang, uh, Liang the thing is I actually would probably prefer him in the main army uh, because I, I want a strategist in here as well but I think for the moment we just got to kind of deal with this so let's get him in I can actually see so he he likes the obeying Guan Zhu. Um, he's beautiful. Okay, interesting. Faction wise, okay, that doesn't matter. Uh, understanding and modest. Modest is a, such a good thing. Minus 50% upkeep reduction for retinue as well, and that's really solid. Yeah, you're definitely getting hired. <laughs> you got the job. Uh, and then I guess I could see if he. So he likes Liu Humin, but he doesn't like uh, Yu Jubing. And then they might not like each other either, but I think it's a temporary thing. I could also take Zhang Zhong out of that commission that I put him in. Because they like each other, so or he likes him. So, and they might like each other as well. I don't know if they do, but we could check it out. He's got um, Formidable, Fulfilled, and Clumsy. I don't know, maybe. Um, I think I will actually do that. So I'll have to take him out of his assignment here. Which means he only just started this. Doesn't look like it changes that though. So I can recruit him next turn and then I'll put uh, Yu Jingping in, in to do the same thing instead. Uh, which I think is possible. 
Okay, anyway, you're going to recruit an actual right, army. So, uh, as much as I want to recruit crossbowmen, which are really solid, we pay 77 for them instead of 21. Of course, normally this is 30, and these guys are 90, I guess. Uh, but it's cheaper now because we have the 15% um, uh, upkeep cost reduction for, for his retinue, his special thing. And, of course, the 50% for militia units, which makes this unit significantly cheaper than that one. So, I'm going to recruit five of these, already the two we already have. And I am going to recruit a trebuchet, because trebuchet is incredibly useful in this game does reduce my income by quite a bit. I could also wait on recruiting that one, I guess. Increase, keep our upkeep a little bit higher. Just get it next turn, perhaps, when I recruit the rest of the army, or most of the rest of the army. I think that's fair. Um, okay. I think there's not much else I can do. I can, again, I can upgrade a building here, but I don't really want to. Uh, reform, or sorry, not reform, spies. That's something I haven't looked at yet. We don't actually have anyone available right now. But yeah, spies is a thing that we can do, but not right now. Because I haven't got anything available. And the faction councils are also unlocked, but we need characters in that, like Chancellor, Grand Commander, etc. to, etc. etc. to be able to actually invoke the council, which gives us a quest, quest essentially. Um, these missions, honestly, they're... From what I've seen so far, every single time I've gotten one, it's like, upgrade the main city in one of your commanderies. It's like, oh, okay. And you get, like, satisfaction out of it. It's like, not really a big deal, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do in diplomacy to make these people like me more and kind of hope that they don't betray me. I'm going to lose a lot of money here if I lose the trade and that as well. Um, and the same goes for Kong Rong. It's unfortunate, because we're friends, right? But he's still... They still... I don't know. We were kind of friendly with one show as well. And we had two... We were making like 500 bucks a turn from him, and like just him paying me over 10 turns, and he just fucked me. That's such a shame. He's got to be like unreliable now. Don't know if it says it, because of course we get that trustworthy thing, but he doesn't have that. He's just, you know... He's just a guy. AI doesn't give a shit what the other AI does. Anyway, let's see what happens. Okay, there's a Cao Cao army. Uh, okay, didn't see Kong Rong join that war yet, so that's good. Didn't see him join the war yet either, so no one's been asked in to join yet. As far as I can tell. Look, so we're good. Okay, we may actually be better off than I thought we were. But we'll see. Um, we have... Okay, so she's ready for duty, and the other people are as well. And then we build some buildings. Fantastic. Quite a few buildings, in fact. Oh, that's two, two demolishes, of course. Right, so let me just see. Okay, you are happy with each other. I don't know if they're happy with each other as well, but we can find that out later. Um, for now, we are going to... Uh, well, I mean, beyond that, I don't really have much to do. I guess, yeah, just attack this army first of all, I guess. And then we can even see what uh, Tao Tsao thinks of me after that, I suppose. I want to... Oh, no, yeah, yeah, we got it. Okay, so that's what, what I was going to do. I was going to assign you into this place. And we're gonna do that one. Right. And then I think I'll just wait, because this takes this takes two turns to build. So if I wait one turn I can get it for well, yeah, it, it still takes one turn. Same goes for that. So there's no point building anything right there. Uh, and I've got nothing else to build except for the demolished stuff here. So yeah we'll do that. Um so why don't we go we'll start with the government support again I think. Put that there for no other reason than why not. And then, yeah, let's do a battle, right? Should be fun. How long are we in? 34 minutes or so? Sure, let's do this. Is he gonna run? He's in forced march stance as well. It's actually only just in my favor. What kind of units have we got? That doesn't look that scary. Why is it only just in my favor? He's got, I've got garrison to join in as well. What the fuck? This army's not that good, game. I don't know what you're saying. We're pretty well replenished, too. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that's, like, so bad. So we got uh, Zhao Hudun and uh, Tata, of course, the man himself. He's got a unit of heavy tiger and leopard cavalry, which is one of the better uh, shock have in the game, I think. He's got the Jun sword, guard cavalry, and the mounted saber calf. One thing I, I haven't really talked about this, by the way, but... Um, shouldn't it be, like, mounted Dao calf? Or uh, mounted Dao militia? Because we've got G Militia, and the G is clearly, the, like, this weapon's called a G, I assume. But then these guys are just called Mounted Saber Militia. It's similar how in Shogun 2, I mean, I mean, these guys are also just called Archer Militia, rather than, I don't know if there's a special word for a bow, but this is the thing that was always the case in, um, 
in Shogun 2, where you've got Yari Ashigaru, you've got Katana Samurai, Naginata Samurai, and then you've got Bo Infantry. Bo Ashigaru, Bo Cavalry. Why wasn't it Yumi? Yumi Ashigaru, Yu, Yu, Yumi Samurai, etc. That was always one of the major things in that game. And in this one, it seems that there's G Infantry, but then the Saber is just called a Saber, not a Dao. But there's also Jan Militia, or like Jan, which is uh, the straight sword. So I don't know exactly why they kind of just didn't go all out with it, but oh well. Are you gonna are you gonna sit in that little hill there? Because that would be pretty good for me. We've got the archer advantage, so and I've, I've, I've the main thing about archer advantage with us is of course the fact that we have that 100% missile block chance thing. Also got um, Gorilla deployment on these guys now for uh, his the, uh, his part of the army basically, which is nice. Okay. Have on the flanks as per usual. We got reinforcements coming in, so we'll probably wait for those as well. Alright, that has everything in it, so actually, except for you, so let's bring you guys a little bit closer. Boom. Alright, let's see if he's gonna stay on that hill. I'd imagine he would. Yeah, his entire army is tired as well, which makes, I guess, more sense for him to sit back Cut! even then. Hello, reinforcements. Okay, let's just run you guys over here for now. Uh, but I'll, yeah, I guess I'll set them up immediately, because why not? So there's all the archers. And then what do we just get? Two more of uh, these guys. Okay, well, let's see. We've got some cav on the right. This big old cav on the right there. Uh, I don't remember how many cav he had. Three. Yeah, 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 he had three. Okay, well, there's two on the right. Uh, on, is that another one? Yeah, okay, so there's all of them on the right, so let's put these guys on the right somewhere. And then, well, I was going to say, let's triple speed it, but I'm already doing that, so let me take a sip of my drink instead. Alright. Probably what I'll do is just kind of cross the river first, go over here. Maybe even up the way up here and then start going towards him. Because I might as well keep the, uh, or not give him the massive hill, well not massive, but the uh, decent hill advantage. So let's just kind of plop you guys over here. I'll walk. There's no need to make my entire army too tired. I have noticed that it's kind of weird. I feel like cavalry gets way, like tired way, way, way faster than anyone else. Like, these G-Militia, I just ran them the entire way across and they're totally fine. Now, I know in records mode, uh, fatigue plays a much bigger role. Units will get tired much quicker and all that. Or, yeah, uh, much quicker than in romance mode anyway. But even then, in this, it seems like some units like cavalry get tired super fast, but in other units like, well, any infantry basically just doesn't get tired at all. It's like a massive difference. Which also probably means that on romance mode, having a fatigued army from... Ooh, are they coming? No, they're shifting. Having a fatigued army from force marching is probably going to be much bigger of an impact than it would do on records mode. Because on records mode, the other army, the enemy army is going to be tired pretty rapidly anyway, so it's not a huge difference. But on romance mode, it's going to take fucking ages for my army to be tired. So at that point, like, the fact that they are the debuff the entire fight while it takes ages for my army to get tired... It's going to be a pretty big, pretty big difference, I imagine. Anyway, I'm going to pop up a little bit further up on this hill here, and then from here we'll basically just go towards them. I'll run for now. I also, actually, you know, you're not going to run. I'm going to see who wants to duel. Right, so Xiao Dun wants to duel me. Wants to ju uh, duel Guan um, Yu, so I'm going, to, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Which also might make them come towards me, so we gotta be properly set up before that happens. Make you guys are make sure you guys are on the flanks dealing with the cavalry. Don't have to have you guys in range for the uh, ability because you're on the second line anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, that should be good. Uh, almost in range there. I'm also gonna take you on automatically reject. Probably gonna duel me immediately. Yep. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna run back a little bit. Before I accept. Something I, uh, I've been thinking about recently, because your general runs straight for the other guy. 
And we don't want to, like, the sooner I accept, the closer my guy's going to be towards their line. Also... Uh, that one. Look at this shit. Can I, oh, I can't move the camera around at all. We're going to win the initial body. He's got the downhill charge. Yeah, nice one, Guan Yu. Okay, let's go into normal mode, though, because I want to use my ability right away. Yeah, what you just said. I agree with that. Boom. Good shit. He said he's ne negligible to damage. Yeah, we seem to be killing each other pretty rapidly, but as long as we go down at the same time, it's okay. Yeah, we seem to both take chunks out of each other's health constantly. As long as he his goes down before mine, it's okay. We're just doing the same amount of damage to each other. I just started with more HP because of my ability. We got 31 seconds to kill him off. I feel like he is catching me a little bit here. Which might not quite be enough. Okay, we got a free hit on him there, it seems. 21 seconds remaining. If we win in the 21 seconds, we get extra buffs, basically. Unfortunately, my ability is uh, going to be longer cooldown than that. Am I losing this? Oh, it's close. It's very close. Got a couple wins there, though. Probably should have been looking at this closer, to be honest, but... So, guys, people are going to be like, If you're watching the duel, you might as well actually properly watch it, right? Ooh, I took a hit there. Come on, Guan Yu. You legend. Okay, finish him off with that, then. What the? I just didn't take that damage. Oh my god, are you losing? What's happening here? I feel like I am- Oh, thank god. Okay. Alright, we got some health back. Still not a lot, though. Has that made them come towards me? It's made their cavalry come towards me. Okay, get back on your fuck- Oh, come on, for Chao Tsao, Chao Tsao has gone uh, mental from that, apparently. Oh, he's turned back already. Get back on your goddamn- Oh, you're on your horse already, good man. Get back here. Um, let's run you guys over here, then. Make sure we actually have some kind of cover. Also, you. You could stop that unit by yourself. So that was not as negligible as I thought it was going to be. Alright, we should do... Oh, I'd have turned back now. That's... Damn it, I missed all my volleys because of that. What the fuck is that? Weird glitchiness happening right right now. Okay, well... Um, that was... That was disappointing. Took a lot more damage than I would like to. And we didn't win in the, in the given time either. It looked like we were going to, and then just no. Just no. Alright, well, we're gonna move up again. Still gotta do the actual archer battle. Once we start hitting them in, in, in ra with range, we're gonna be totally fine. This should surprise. Oh, that one too. Surprisingly low morale. I think because he's in forced march stance, he also. No, actually, does his army disappear? I don't think it does. I think he's still allowed to run away, so we gotta kill off as much as possible after the battle ends. Don't know if I'll be able to reach him again after the battle ends either. Um, I need him to come down towards me at some point. Uh, they were moving. Are they moving? I think they might be moving towards me. Yeah, I need him to come towards me as well at some point because I want him to get off that hill. Best case scenario. I'm gonna actually use free units here. Best case scenario, we um. We have him like just here, so I can get up on the hill with my cavalry and then charge downhill on the cavalry, like with the cavalry. That random horse from Zhao Hudun is just walking around. Walking around the Christmas tree, it's a happy holiday. Alright, as long as we can protect against that, those units effectively with our uh, with these units, we should be totally fine. Alright, but the firing commence. I'll hold off a little bit until all of them are firing at me and not just a couple. Really got to keep close attention to that shit. While I don't like arrow trills necessarily, I do think they kind of look cool like this. When you see just a gigantic amount of arrows flying. Alright, now that we're being fired upon by, I think, all units, I'm going to use that ability. Okay. 
Uh, right, I might want to get my actual army in front. You need to just get over there as well. Oh, oh my god, we're riding like all of them already. What the hell's happening here? There's free archer units over there. Um, I don't want to charge into those, to be honest. Go kill the south side for me. Eh, just go in there. Let me do that. Uh, okay, the charge is happening. That should be pretty good. We're braced for it. The road is being attacked, that's fair. Alright, go help him out. Uh, you're a bit wounded, but I'll probably still use you there. Oh, fuck me, I totally forgot you guys. Oopsie. Uh, that went alright, I think. I think I lost too much. Can I keep chasing them, please? Can you just kill them? Uh, alright, get in there. Our things are routing there now. Just taking too much damage for free there, unnecessarily. Okay, you appear to be killing him, no problem. He doesn't want a duel, fair enough. I wouldn't want either. I need to get you guys in the back of this stuff. Surprisingly, this battle's gone really weirdly. They've, we haven't really engaged in the front line, the main line at all. I don't like this actually that much. Let's to go get these guys out of here. Oh, fuck me, I've got Cav standing over here just not doing anything. What am I doing right now? You know what? Just charge them. I'm not on it today. One step closer to victory. Hope so. As I said, I do have to kill everything off, so let's actively keep murdering everything, basically. Okay, let's focus him down now. That unit's wavering. If I can route that, that'd be grand. This unit's full-on anti this unit, to be honest, but that's all right. Damn it. Keep killing him, please. Um, come over here. You're actually already over here as well. No, don't kill that unit. Just kill this one. Yeah, kill Guan Yu for me. That'd be, or, um, actually, yeah, it's time for you to get make an appearance. Go assassinate that guy for me. Okay, this one I'm surprised we haven't won yet, to be honest. If I'm totally honest with you guys, I'm surprised I have not won yet. Okay, if he dies, which he will do soon, I think. I'm kind of hoping this unit routes. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, if I could kill him off, that'd be grand. If you could kill the other one off as well, that'd be grand as well. Can't really use the ability because again, he just kind of stands still. If I do that, I can show you. Might just be in range. Ooh, he may have actually taken that damage, which means I'm surprised he still lives. All right, let's make sure we kill everything off, or at least as much as possible, so I can auto the rest out of it, uh, out of existence. There we go. That's good. Sansa, Sansa, and there goes the other guy. Anything else we can kill? It's Forty-six men. Yeah, sure, we can kill those. Uh, you guys, go kill that off as well. All right, now we should probably triple speed this. Uh, go on, you go kill them. Although this unit probably will do the same. Four men should be gone. Yeah, that was pretty. Uh, that was a pretty good, pretty good battle. I don't think I lost that much there, to be honest. It was a really interesting one. The way it, the way it turned, out, like worked out, was kind of odd and unexpected, honestly. Um, like the fight just didn't start for a very long time, essentially. And then, when it did start, we never really fought at all. Just kind of, uh, like, their main line just didn't really charge towards me. They just kind of stood there in loose formation while we were firing upon them with our full-on missile protection. Cavalry on the right didn't die as fast as I was expecting them to, but I think, honestly, and it's kind of ironic, the fact that they were so tired saved them, because their charges were so, so slow that we we, we ended up, like, not killing them very fast because they're... Ch oh my goodness, that looked like a really good horse. Look at those legendary horse right there. Did I take that from Cao Cao? Because I think he... Yeah, we did, because he's got a shit horse now. Fuck you, Cao Cao. Take your armor too while we're at it. Um, oh, and he, he's, lost, he's got a shit John, so he must have lost that at some point as well. Um, what was I going to say? 
Uh, words. I was definitely going to say some words. Sorry, what was I? Oh, fuck me, I'm, I was trying to talk about something. Um, but then that horse showed up and I was completely lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, the cavalry, because they were so tired, their charge was super slow. They kind of walked into melee with my spears rather than charging. Because if they charged in, they would have lost more men on the actual charge. But they just walked in. I'm going to take that 1,358 right now, if you don't mind. Five percent replenishment is not bad. Okay, Tsao Tsao is still going. Which means if we beat him right now, I think we'd kill him off, wouldn't we? You've also leveled up. We can get... Uh, ooh, charge bones for his own retinue. Which right now isn't all that good. But it will be insane once we get him a, uh, a retinue full of cav. Um, we can get replenishment, which is nice when he's commanding, which he isn't currently. Uh, plus one available armies if he is something, and the movement range when he's commanding is also really good. So these are all quite good. And all of them are kind of like, when he becomes a general, this one also when he becomes a general, or commanding officer at least. And this one when he gets his own actual retinue, which is also when he becomes a, a commanding officer, or at least a general in a different army, which at that point will probably be the commanding officer as well. Um, so yeah, all of them are quite good. None of them are particularly good for right now. Um, I think I'm still going to take this one. He gets the charge bonus as well, I imagine. Uh, and the instinct is just good for him, so I'm going to give him that. And then, so yeah, we got Shadowrunner. That's the specific mount for um, Tsatsao. Pretty solid. And we got a random craftsman as well, which is nice. Income from industry and the administered commandery. And we killed in battle Cheng Yu. We're going to kill the other two generals as well now, though. Actually, no, only... Actually, I don't know how that works. Because he it's our turn, so I don't think he's actually here anymore. Although he is. I don't know how that works, actually. I have to figure that out. Uh, you, would you like a new horse? I happen to have one laying around. It's actually slightly worse than the authority, but the extra 10 cunning is not bad. Uh, it's just military supplies and ammunition, though. It's, and the retinue... It's not even that good. It's probably better if I give this one to... Oh, it's a bit of a shame, but yeah. <laughs> you're you're going to get yourself a nice little mount there, friend, if you like it. Ah, uh, that's funny. Shadowrunner. 80 speed, by the way, in 2k mass. That's insanely fast. Oh, I am honestly... I kind of want to give it to him. Or to anyone else, basically. 80 speed is madness. It's just a, it's a waste on, on a character who's based on cunning, but... That 10 cunning is pretty big. It's a shame, but um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it on I'm gonna keep it on him. Uh, we can get an extra bit of cunning. Um, the actual character experience and stuff is irrelevant. He doesn't get to use that um, because he's not you know minister air affection leader. But that's generally the case anyway. So I'm still gonna give this to him. I think give him an extra four cunning. Uh, we have an authority item for you, which I'm not going to give you. I got a better Jan. Actually, no, this is a noble sword, which is a Jan actually as well. But um, do I have any reason not to give that to you? It's just a straight upgrade. It gives them an extra five satisfaction. Yeah, fuck it. I've got two of them. If I ever remember that I have two of them and I should give one to someone who actually uses it in combat more often, then maybe I'll do that. But for now, it's all right. Right, let's finish. Ah, oh, we can't. We can't finish him off. Never mind. I thought for some reason I could reach, but I can't. Well, let's go back into the town then. Get our uh, supplies back up and then attack here next turn. Although I can't reach. I can reach. I thought I couldn't when I checked that last time. Didn't want to do that. Um, okay. Uh, I gotta end another turn here. Otherwise, so I'm at the Okay, they... Yeah, they, we already figured out. They like each other. Okay, so what do we get from... Oh, I need to check that in a second. What do we get from each character leading the army, essentially? Okay, so let's do... Uh, yeah, let's do you. And yeah, they like each other as well. He, They don't like each other, but they don't dislike each other, which is good enough. So we're going to recruit Zhang Yong as well. And then our income is all right still, actually, but it's going to be a lot worse when we recruit all these units. Then we're going to see who's the best actual commander. So, um, army. Well, he doesn't have anything. Okay, so not you probably. Um, nor you. Okay, none of these characters have anything that gives bonuses <laughs> when they're leading an army. <laughs> God damn it! All right. Uh, in that case, it doesn't really matter. 
which means that I'm going to make her my leader because she is for one my um, my faction uh, or she's my wife, the base wife uh, and also she's the cavalry commander and I like having the cavalry commander lead the actual army uh, okay so yeah abilities and stuff I didn't really look at that either to be honest but yeah he's got the thing where if you keep him near your own people he decreases cooldown really fast which is quite good if you've got a general who's good in melee, like a champion or something, he's in a duel, and then you make him, like, you're basically giving him the ability to use his, uh, his 15k damage or something several times. He's got the melee evasion buff, which is pretty solid too. Uh, Sentinel, we haven't talked about these ones yet. Sentinels are good against basically holding up units. They're not particularly good in damage or something, but they've got massive melee evasion, so they just kind of stand there. Uh, and defend themselves for a long time. So they're good against, like, uh, even like uh, an enemy general or a choke point or something like that, it says here. So you can basically put them up against anything and they'll survive for a while. And then there is the strategist, of course, is um, terrible in melee or in fights in general, but they have. Uh, I went to spy for me. How, how kind. Um, but they've got the ability to. Um, uh, buff range units and stuff like that. And they've got like other buffs on the yeah, debuffs like the one we saw just now So what is your special ability again nature's call right? I think I, I looked at this earlier didn't I so it looks like this has got a 75 meter range so All units around her have increased speed and morale and ignore force penalty So it would be very good to keep her near my melee cavalry and then just kind of charge her in with them So I'm gonna have you as my commanding or yeah commanding general I'm going to replace this unit with a uh, melee cav Mounted Saber Militia. I'm gonna recruit... I can't recruit Axbat yet, so... Um, these guys cost 120 upkeep, so actually I'm not even gonna keep you guys, I'm gonna replace you. Because Axbat might be a little bit better, but again, they're not Militia units, so I don't want them. Because I want the Saber Militia, because they get the 50% upkeep reduction. Uh, and then we get... A lot more of those, yeah. I'm not gonna get anything else. And I want to get a couple more calf. I can definitely afford a couple more units. So I think that's okay. And then she's going to get a couple spears just as a anti-cavalry thing on the flanks. And then he's going to get his artillery piece. And then that should be okay for the army. Okay. Uh, we spent all of our money, so we can't actually afford anything else anymore. Is there any diplomacy I can do? Tsao what do you think of me right now after that? Oh, that doesn't work. No, he's still nowhere near peace. Still have to give him land and a whole bunch of money. 18. 0, 0.0. Why the fuck would I add that then? <laughs> that's ridiculous. Um, yeah, there's nothing else that's going to happen here. All right, cool. Well, let's see if people declare war on me or not. We're getting a lot stronger with that second army now, so it's it would be unlikely. But if Cao Cao asks people to join, okay, that's one shout. We probably can't reach that place. You want... Um, me to become your vassal. I don't want to become your vassal. All right, does Kong Rong turn red or not? He does not. So Kong Rong's still not in war with me, or at war with me. And Liu Dai isn't either. Okay, so we're still good from those two people. You want... Oh, shit. Uh, okay, so the coalition became a military alliance. Liu Dai and Huan Shao stayed in it. Uh, okay, so the coalition was left by everyone because it became an alliance. Um, Yuan Shao and... Okay, so, okay, I got it. So Yuan Shao, Liu Dai, Kong Rong, and um, and that's it. They're all allies. Cao Cao straight up left it. That's it. Which kind of sucks. Well, I mean, it's good for me, but it kind of sucks because now I'm at war with Yuan Shao for no reason, essentially, because not, he's not even in the same coalition anymore. Uh, Dongwin signed a peace treaty with Liu Dai. Okay, that's interesting. So he's actually not at war with the um, Han Empire anymore. Fogging the troops. Ooh. Your general's reputation for discipline, but has recently started taking sadistic pleasure in punishment. Even people accused of imagining slights, slights or in misdeeds are flogged. Their suffering justified as deterrence to, to future crimes. And there are few soldiers in their army who remain unscarred by the whip. Minus 10 public order for the local commandery. That's not good. That said, even with that, we, st we still got plus 10. So that should be okay. Right, he... Ooh, he can't actually reach the town, which is good, because it means it gives me a turn to get there. And with the garrison... And this army, I hopefully will be alright. He's got a pretty solid army, but I think I'd be okay. Especially if I recruit the last couple units as well, which I should be able to do. Um, 
And then we built a building. Fantastic. And then, yeah, if you can reach this place, which it looks like we can just about do, I will keep going on the offensive. But I will do so next time. So until then, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time we're going to, yeah, kind of fend off Wan Xiao. Possibly get peace with him again, because I have no real interest in going west right now. So I want to defend against him and then um, attack down here. Essentially, keep fighting Cao Cao. Eventually confederate with Liu Biao. But until then, thank you for much for for watching for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Have a good day and goodbye.